new blood pressure classification. There are three categories. Number one, non-elevated blood pressure. Number two, elevated blood pressure. Number three, hypertension. This new guideline continue to define hypertension as office systolic blood pressure of more than equal to 140 millimeter of mercury or diastolic blood pressure of more than equal to 90 millimeter of mercury. However, a new blood pressure category, elevated blood pressure is introduced. Elevated blood pressure is defined as an office systolic blood pressure of 120 to 139 millimeter of mercury or diastolic blood pressure of 70 to 89 millimeter of mercury. And the non elevated blood pressure is defined as an office systolic blood pressure of less than 120 millimeter of mercury or diastolic blood pressure of less than 70 millimeter of mercury. The diagnosis of hypertension and elevated blood pressure requires confirmation using out of office measurement that is home blood pressure monitoring or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring or at least one additional subsequent office measurement. Okay. For a long time, we have called high blood pressure the silent killer and for a very good reason. It's the number one preventable risk factor for heart disease, stroke, kidney disease across the globe. The scary part, many people are walking around with dangerously high blood pressure and have no idea because they are not well aware about it. So what are your action steps? First, know your numbers. Regular blood pressure monitoring at home is strongly encouraged. So don't wait for your yearly checkups. Now, how you will measure blood pressure at home effectively? Home blood pressure measurement is an out of office approach to measure blood pressure when the patient measures their own blood pressure at home using a validated monitor, usually an upper arm oscillometric cuff device. A consistent approach to home blood pressure measurement should be used. Patients should be counseled to follow the same preparation steps as used in clinics. Measure blood pressure in a quiet room after 5 minutes of rest with arm and back supported. Two measurements should be taken at each measurement session performed 1 to 2 minutes apart. Measurements should be made twice a day, morning and evening at the same time for the minimum of 3 days and up to 7 days. At the end of the measurement period, all readings are averaged. If the average after 3 days is close to the treatment threshold, then measurement should be continued for the full 7 days. Patients should be informed to keep a record for their home blood pressure values and to ask their healthcare provider that the device accuracy be intermittently checked. Device older than 4 years may be inaccurate and if inaccurate, should be replaced. An average home blood pressure measurement of more than equal to 135 by 85 mm of mercury equivalent to an office blood pressure of more than equal to 140 by 90 mm of mercury should be used to diagnose hypertension and an average systolic blood pressure of 120 to 134 mm of mercury or diastolic blood pressure of 70 to 84 mm of mercury should be used to diagnose elevated BP. Of note, we use the same lower blood pressure threshold 120 by 70 millimeter of mercury for both office and home blood pressure measurement in defining elevated BP and hypertension. If you like the content, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.